MBAs, MD, PhDs. We also are the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs, uh, along with Latina women in America. Pew Research said that women are now out earning men out earning me yes. in 22 yes. of the largest cities in America, including where I live, New York, D.C., L.A., you name it. I see a lot of dudes being lazy, but you do got some dudes out there on the grind. But in society that we live in now, yes, the women are on the grind. When we talk, and I know that you've said that you cannot teach a man or tell a man how to be a man. So I will not ask you to indict men in this question. But I do want you to speak, Ayanla, to how women need to... Uh, I don't know, position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can create and not build when some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all, um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the resources, and some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. And the reason for that is, is because most guys that really want to be in love, you need to be in a relationship in order for you to be motivated to run a business, in order for you to be motivated to do things with your life. Guys look at the quality of women that are out right now, and they don't see themselves getting married. So there's no reason for a man to try to work to provide for a family when he doesn't see a family in the average woman. It is so easy for a single man to survive on his own. A uh, one bedroom apartment, $700. Let's say utilities will go eight. And then let's say to eat for the month, another 300. Let's say you got a car note, another 400. Let's say you got insurance. Now you're at another two to 300. For $1,600 a month, a single man can live a good life in a one bedroom apartment and drive the car he wants to for under $2,000 a month. Anything more than that is just spending money for him to go around the city. When you start dealing with a family and you start having kids, you have to make a lot more money, which means that you have to work a lot more harder and be under a lot more stress. It's more beneficial for a man to stay single, work less, and still get everything out of life that he wants. That's the mindset that most men are going with now because of the conditions that women have been in. Women have to understand, it's not feminism that destroyed you. It's the Me Too movement that destroyed you where you made every man look like a monster. Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date if a bus driver? If he owns the bus. If he owns no. it. If it is natural for a woman to practice hypergamy. It is part of her nature. That's what we talk about a lot of time in these spaces. Hypergamy, she's always looking for the upper man, right? Okay, we can't get mad at this statement. When women throw these statements out, you got two options. You can go and deal with a girl in your league that's going to accept you for you, or you got to live up to the challenges that the girl that you want, want out of you. So if you want that type of girl that don't want the bus driver, dude, then you can't be the bus driver. You got to be the dude owning it. That's what life is about. You have to understand. We can't look at her words and say, oh, she's a bad woman. See, some of you guys ain't never been around the world. She's actually handling it nice. There are some girls to your face is gonna call you a bum. You, it is very important for a man to understand his league, what league you are in, the type of women that you can actually get that's going to respect you. You cannot get mad if the girl you like don't like you back, nor can you get mad at this statement because it's hypergamy. She's not supposed to sit here and say that she wants less. It's against woman's nature. When you accept woman's nature, then you're expecting her to say that. If he owns the bus, See, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. Okay. Because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on his sofa playing video games all day. <laughs> I'm not talking about mm -hmm. that. But the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who mm. we are as women and who they are in this society. That's where we can blame Instagram. We could blame Instagram for women upping the standards of the type of man that she wants. But you have to understand as men, as long as you're below that, you're going to always look criticized and complain. That's just what it is. You're left to do that. The men who never can live up to these challenges are the ones that never got the women. What you have to understand is when you become the man that can afford the bus, that can afford the lifestyle, 
financially as well taken care of. You're taking care of your health. You're taking care of your body. And you're maintaining alpha frame at all times. The roles change when all the women want you. It changes when you can be the one deciding what you want. Because when they want you, a woman is going to adapt to what she thinks the type of woman you want her to be. And you get to make your choices. If you're not out here outworking people, like me, I'm only getting four hours of sleep. I outwork everybody. I'm constantly working. There's no days off. I've signed up for this for life. I deserve a good woman because I'm putting work into my life. I'm putting work into my value. So I get my pick of the litter. But if you're just sitting around doing nothing, yes, you're going to have a problem. But when it comes to a bus driver, a bus driver needs to know his lane. Know your lane. You Bus drivers make a lot of money. And I know bus drivers that are in car clubs that have Hellcats and all kind of cars and they could cause they've been driving buses for years and they're getting paid from the city. They make good money and they have pretty wives. I'm speaking from experience, not little boys that stuck on the internet. I would date a bus driver if he was, if he loved driving the bus, if he was a man of integrity, if he was good to his mama, if he treated me well, I would date a bus driver. And plenty of women out there will date a bus driver. It's that simple. But the bus driver wants the girl that don't want the bus driver to like him. And then they're mad. That's the biggest problem that we're having with men. These type of gold digging women have never not existed. I'm sorry, but it's always been like that. Even back in Roman times and medieval periods. Like the women have always gravitated towards the kings, the men of power. This is why men buy Mercedes. This is why men buy jewelry. This is why men like to show off money. It's because they know that's what the women want. We can't get mad when a girl that wants that doesn't want the guy who isn't taking the risk as the men that are getting. Come on now. But we think that it's another human being's responsibility to give us what we need instead of us building together. I can build with a bus driver. I'd have my little stash over on the side in my prenup, but I could build with a bus driver. <laughs> So I think some of the criteria that we look for in the reality of today keeps us unhappy. Keep when it comes to those type of girls that want that, guys, learn to skip them. Skip them. Throw them back. Stop getting mad when the cute girl don't want you. Throw them back. Go get you a regular woman. A regular woman is going to make a better relationship and a regular woman will make herself pretty for you. You want someone who is compatible with you, not combative. Compatible. That's what's going to matter in the end. Your looks are going to age. As a man, if you have not established a workout regimen, I'm sorry, you're probably not going to be in your 40s still looking good. So don't demand that out of a woman. You need to find someone that you could go to the movies with. You could go out to eat with. You could take vacations with. You could walk in the park with. But stop aiming for the girl that you just googly-eyed about. You're going to learn in life. Worry about a woman that's combative with you. Don't get mad when these girls say, I won't date a bus driver. Duh! Most of them are going to say that now, but there is a woman that will build with you. Keeps us angry, hmm. keeps us in balance. And then when the men show up, we want to beat them up because they're not living up to our standards and criteria. And, and it's not working, beloved. It's just not working. So it's not that it's bad or wrong. It's obsolete. It's obsolete. Mm. We have to come up with a new way of being. I don't believe in carrying a man. A man has to do for himself. My She's absolutely right. A man has to do for himself. You have to already be doing it. When you're already doing it for yourself, you don't care if a woman says, I, I don't want a bus driver because you have options. The man that gets mad is the man that don't have options. You think if Beyonce says, oh, I would never date Anthony Spade. I'm going to get mad. No, I didn't want her. I look at all the pretty girls that want me now. That's what I got to go off of. So you have to understand as a man, regardless of what she's saying, we need to build here. We need to build here. We need to build that. What she say at the end of it, a man still needs to be able to build his own, right? Once you're able to hold your own, you're not going to care about these comments because women can smell the guy that can hold his own. And when you have options, you don't even pay attention to this crap. My son got his first job when he was nine, nine. Okay, because you're a black man, you will know how to take care of yourself. But I think the way we measure it, 
it's it's just obsolete. I'll say the technology has thrown everybody off completely whenever it comes to dating. The only way to get back to the real you is to go outside and start living a real life. That's the only way that it's going to work. Too many people are stuck inside the computer gathering information, getting dopamine releases from studying a lot of stuff, but you have no life experiences. It's like everyone is sitting on a whole bunch of knowledge, but don't know how to apply it to their real life to go back outside. So you're left paying attention to this little petty stuff where women say they don't want a bus driver. So be it. Oh, black women are bad. They not. So be it. Women in modern day times are just so be it. But when you stop and look at the world, it's only like the Western world that's thinking like that. Not the entire world. So what does that mean? That means get your passport for all you passport bros out there or get you some life experiences so you can actually see what different cities and different countries have to offer. Sitting in your room is not going to get you anywhere. Thank you for watching Anthony Spade Reactions. If you want more reaction videos, make sure you click on the links below in the description and watch my other videos. But also check me out on my second channel, Life with Anthony Spade, so you can watch more daily vlogs of my personal life. Hasta la vista. Emmys have a different head for each side. We got a ZL1. Everything's assembled with ARP 2000 rod bolts. It's a scat pack. So we left a B sticker on it. Yeah, so that's a new timing chain. Is this the timing chain? I'm looking for mainly.